Please be seated, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. My name is Chris Huskins. I am, a, I am the chairman of the Board of Directors. On behalf of the entire Board of Directors, it is my unique privilege to welcome each and every one of you today. Are we ready to celebrate? What, what, what an incredibly joyful day. This is the reason this institution exists, is to, is to train up these, these, these men and women, to give them the skills to take into a world that badly needs what they have to offer. What a fantastic day to send another group of outstanding people into the world to do God's work. I, I would like to take just a moment and recognize some of my fellow uh, board members. Would the board members please stand up? If you're, if you're in here and you're a board member, would you please stand up? Uh, these folks do a lot of hard work. They love this institution. They are committed to this institution. And I, I, I really appreciate everything they do. Thank you, guys. Thank you. As we get started today in this great celebration, will you join me in a word of prayer, please? Our most gracious and loving Father, as we gather today to celebrate, we first pause. We pause to acknowledge the fact that we are here because you've allowed it to be. We are here, Father, because you have brought these graduates to this special, unique time. Father, we pray that as they come to the conclusion of one path and begin a new path, Father, just hold these graduates close to you. Give them boldness. Give them courage. Father, the world needs what they have to offer. Father, as they go from this institution, with the knowledge and the skills that they have gained with their time and effort here. Father, guide them in a way in their career, in their ministry, in whatever path that you have them walk. Guide them and be with them as they bring honor and glory to your name. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Good afternoon. As it was said earlier, this is the day that the Lord has made. And we shall, we shall rejoice and be glad in it. I know everybody's waiting for this, right? You can say it. You can say it. Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty and their recommendations to the Board of Directors, I, I am honored and I have a pleasure to present to you the Charlotte Christian College and Theological Seminary graduates for 2022. Each candidate will arise according to their degree. Will the candidates for the Doctor of Ministry please stand? <laughs> Mr. President, it is my honor to present these candidates to receive their Doctor of Ministry Candidates, as you come, please kneel to be hooded. Thelma Solomon McLean. Her doctoral project was Developing a Ministry for Ex-Offenders.
Amen. Charles Allen Patton. His doctoral project was The Fear of the Lord is the Beginning of Wisdom, a project based on Proverbs. Amen. Vicki Mann Rogers. Her doctoral project was the use of small groups as a component of disciple making at the Gethsemane Missionary Baptist Church in Bunn, North Carolina. Amen. Amen. Janie W. Rouse. Her doctoral project was Becoming a Missional Church in West Greenville, North Carolina, How a Small Urban Church Can Impact and Empower the Community. Amen. Candidates, I ask that you will please stand. Will you, your tassel should be on your right side. Should right now be on your right side. And I'm going to ask you to take that tassel and turn it to the left side. Amen. You are now officially the graduate of 2022 at Charlotte Christian College and Theological Seminary. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. Any men with a cap on, please remove it. Men, if you have a cap on, please remove it for a moment. You might wonder about the caps. Normally we take them off when we come in, put them back on after the last prayer, out of respect for our Lord. I wanted to share with you a very brief story and then provide a blessing. My wife and I found ourselves once in our lives of having a young couple live upstairs. And they had a child while they were living upstairs. Their idea of parenting was very different from ours. And they believed in putting the baby into the cradle and let the baby cry itself to sleep. And one night I had listened to the baby cry and the baby cry. And finally, I got up and I went to the foot of the stairs. And I said, somebody get that baby. 
As I turned to walk away, I heard the mother getting up. A few minutes later, she is handing me the baby like this. You take him. <laughs> I put the little girl up against my chest, her ear to my heart, and she calmed. And in a few moments, she had gone to sleep. The Lord taught me something there. In ministry, we're serving a sovereign God. But on this earth, we are surrounded with people that don't like us. We're dealing with shortage of supplies, high gas prices. We've got all kinds of things that we're up against, even in trying to do the Lord's work. And so I wanted to send the graduates out with a blessing. If you will bow with me and think about the story that I just told. Heavenly Father, help this class of 2022 not to be afraid, shaken, or rattled by the noise, noise generated throughout this world. We are people of hope. Therefore, Father, I ask that you help this graduating class to understand that when Christians become scared and afraid, the world looks at us and sees a weak people, a people without faith, and a sovereign Heavenly Father. When we panic, we repudiate or even deny your sacred word. Sovereign Heavenly Father, help this graduating class to listen to your heart above all other sounds in a world that is filled with bitterness and hate. Help this class to seek and listen to your heart in this sinful world of military aggression and talk of World War III. Help this graduating class of 2022 boldly disdain and rebuke all that is not from your heart, God. Help these men and women hold dear your truths, your wisdom contained within Scripture and affirmed when individually they listen to your heart. Help this class of 2022 serve throughout the world with the highest respect and the deepest love for you, Sovereign Father. In this un unstable world with the food shortages and the health care issues and the graduating seniors bringing hope throughout the world, throughout representing you in the glory of your Trinity, and to do so boldly and unapologetically, Father, we, when they cry out to you in those moments when, when this graduation class is shaken, please embrace and hold them to your heart. And in the still calmness of your sovereignty, Father, when the faith of those who make up the class of 2022 are shaken and agitated, bless them with the ability to hear your heart so that their heart is calm and their faith is strengthened. Amen and amen. amen. You have been blessed. You are now graduated. And I believe we are ready for the exit of the building, okay? <laughs> <laughs>